All right, guys, this is a real short video, just a refactoring real quick. Um, more factoring, more SLA, divide SLA, let's hit it. A um, couple of problems here, just a quick review. I'm gonna SLA, divide SLA this one because it's a trinomial with a two in the front. So I'm gonna take the two over here, slot it, multiply it times a 56, which would give me two times 56, which everybody knows is 112. So good, now I gotta find two factors of 112 that would give me nine somehow. Um, so I'm thinking, I don't know, 16 and seven. Uh, yep, that's it, that's it for sure. So that's my factoring. Now I'm gonna, so I've slid already. Now I'm gonna divide the two. So I'm gonna divide the 16 by two and the seven by two. And because 16 divided by two is eight, I'm gonna put the eight there. And because seven is not divisible by two, you're gonna take the two and slide it again, slide it in front of the end. Two in minus seven, all there is to it. Let's do one more of those, make sure you're good. Take the three, slide it to the 20, multiply 20 times three, you get 60. So I'm trying to find factors of 60 that will give me seven somehow. Um, 66 times 10, it's also 12 times five, 12 times five, 12 times five. One's positive, one's negative, because it's a negative 60. Okay, so I factored it, now I'm gonna Divide by the three. I'm gonna divide the 12 by the three and the five by the three. 12 divided by three is four, works great. Five divided by three doesn't work, so I'm gonna slide the three in front of the y. Three y minus five. All right, two weird examples here, just something we haven't looked at a whole lot. This first one is not slide, divide, slide, but there's a GCF. Remember, like, great, a great greatest common factor. And I'm gonna take out the y squared, because that's what they have in common. Out of every term, if I factor out the y squared, it leaves me a y squared, a 9y, and a 14. So I'm gonna keep on trying to factor some more. I'm gonna see if I can factor what's in the parentheses. I'm looking for two factors of 14 that give me nine. I don't know, like seven and two. So I'm doing a minus seven and minus two, because two negatives add up to be negative nine. If you multiply them, you get positive 14. Uh, the next one, also as a GCF, you can take out the two. So I'm gonna take out the two. That would leave me a 1n squared, a 10n, and a 24. So keep on going. Try to factor what's inside those parentheses. Um, factors of 24 that give me 10. 8 and 3 won't do it. That's 11. 6 and 4 do do it. And that's all you can do. All right, one more slide real quick. All right, if it's an equation, you have to factor to solve the equation. I'm still going to do the slide divide slide. All right, so I'm still going to slide that over there. Um, maybe come over here to the side x squared minus 7x, 6 times 20 is 120. So i gotta I got to find factors of 120 that will give me 7. So uh, 12 and 10 won't do it, 15, 8, yes, 15 and 8. So I'm going to say x minus 15 and plus 8. And the reason I did the minus 15 and plus 8 is because the 7's got to be, the 7's negative, so the large number has to be negative. All right, I slid the 6, so now I have to divide by 6. All right, now both of those reduce, so I'm gonna reduce those. 15, six is really five halves. Eight, six is really four thirds. And now that I've reduced those, now I can slide. Actually, there's no need to slide. I can go ahead and give my answers, which is the great thing. I could slide if I want to, but I, I need my answers here to this equation. It's whatever makes the parentheses zero. So the first parentheses five halves makes it zero. The second parentheses negative four thirds makes it zero. And again, the reason I didn't slide that time is because I needed the answers. What makes it zero? And that's easier to find it right there than it is after you slide. So it's, it's probably good idea to stop right there. All right, I'll see you Monday. More of the same. See you, bye.